Hey y'all, it's me, Niecy Lynn. I hope you're having a very, very good December the 1st. I have been toying with the idea of doing Vlogmas and going back and forth about it. And I just decided we're gonna Vlogmas. We're gonna Vlogmas. So here I am and I've had, I needed to pull these things out of the dryer before I'm a little Christmas hand towels were all in a knot in there. So as we get started, I'm gonna be straightening them out. None of the rest of this I don't think really matters. It's my walking leggings mainly, but these Christmas towels, I got these at Joann's. They had them on Cyber Monday, two for $8. So cute, so, so cute. And we were, um, I've had the ones I've had for years and years, uh, my Christmas towels, and they were looking sketchy at best. Y'all, the wind is blowing crazy around here today. Um, so, like I said, I've been toying with the idea of doing a Vlogmas, and I thought of getting a little advent, um, a little advent calendar type thing going. I have the girls a Lego advent calendar, but I wash my little leg and things wrong side out most of the time if they're jean ones so they don't get like fuzzy looking but um I just think I'm gonna do it there's a lot of things that I would like I always think I'll, oh I should you know I should show that or y'all have asked about to see and so I think I'm just going to jump on here and every day try to cover a little something uh, different uh, working at the flower shop for years you pick up little skills and things and that you can learn how to do faster and make bows and which we use on our finishes and on, I use them on my Christmas presents. I still put, I still wrap the box and put the bow on the Christmas present because I'm old and um, I guess I'm old and old school. So there you go. That's what I do. Make bows and make punk and roll, which I make, I, I used to make punk and rolls all the time. And I don't make them as much anymore because guess what? If I make them, guess what happens? I eat them. But they're really good and they're really easy and people think they're like super complicated and they're not. They're like crazy easy. There are tons of stitching plans, stitching things that I would, things I'd like to get stitched and that I haven't over the millennia. And so I thought, you know what? I could show some of those things and maybe that will help me get myself to stitching on them if not um, maybe it'll enable someone else to get to stitching on them because there are so many beautiful fabulous christmas patterns and the girls uh went back to school so aria kyle may be with me tomorrow um and friday but for the most part they're at school and so i'm just by myself i had mama yesterday sister we had a long long day and so mama went with me and we went to, it was so cold and she didn't like to walk when it's cold. So we went to Hobby Lobby and we went to Joann's, um, which are the, besides Walmart, which there was, there'll always be so many people there. I was trying to think of places she could walk around and look around at some stuff, but there would not be like 90 million people maybe so that she could at least get a little movement in without being out in the cold. So we went and did both of those places, I had to go in the mailbox. I tried to go in the different mailbox because my sub post office, there's a sub post office in Waxhatchee that I go to a lot because it's not like a long line, but I didn't realize they don't do international. So I have to, so I thought, well, so then I mailed what I could there and took my international package to the one here in town, but the line was forever long. And I tried to return a pair of Kimi James's little jeans that I got her um, I just ordered some off Amazon, trying to find some that she could wear with her little school uniform on Fridays because so many places aren't letting you try on right now. So I just ordered a couple pair, but one pair was huge. I, it said it was a girl's six, but it must've been a little boy's six because it was just standing off her waist and not touching her. And you know, that will not do. So we, um, Tried to, I tried to go return those at the place, you know, the, the UPS store. You can just go in there and lay scan your little deal. And 
send it back. The line was, people didn't want to stand outside because it was cold and leave the door open, but it was like all curled around curly cue because they were trying to stay six feet apart, but I don't know what my hair is doing now. I'm trying to grow it out a little bit, but I don't know about all this. This may not work. So I thought, uh, so I still have those two things that I'm trying to get done that we didn't get done yesterday, but then we went and had some lunch. You got to eat lunch with um, Aria. Micah met us with Aria after Aria's dance class, and so that always makes her super happy when she gets to see the kids. So she's with Shada Ray today. She ha Shada had to go get some blood work done, and so she went with Shada to hold the baby while um, Shada was having her lab work done, and so that'll get her out of the house a little bit today, and they were going to go in Target or somewhere, I think, maybe. They were looking for an elf on a shelf, so Shada needed an elf on a shelf, so they were, she was going to get to get out a little bit and do that, but so that's, we had that done yesterday, but other than those kind of things, I'll just be here by myself, so I thought, you know what? Let's just Vlogmas. Let's just Vlogmas. So one of the things I thought that I would do, and I think this will show like this just fine, was tie a bow. Tying a bow is so easy and you can knock your ends, you need to notch them out like this, or you can roll them up, but it, tying a bow is like crazy, crazy easy. And you just leave yourself some tail and you can add longer ribbons later if you want to. You don't have to even leave any if you want to add your ribbons later, but to me it's just easier to leave some. That way you don't have to worry about missing it when you squeeze it up. So here's your tail, and we're gonna squeeze up some ribbon, okay? So here we have squeezed it up like this, and we're gonna make our first loop. So here we are, however big you wanna make it, and squeeze it in. So here's my index finger, and here's my thumb, and here's the side view, and then we're gonna twist so that now you're ribbon is facing up again like this. If you have one-sided ribbon, make sure that you turn it so that your non-print side is to the inside of your loop, okay? So then here we are, we're gonna put our second bow on. Here's our second loop on our bow, okay? And we're gonna push it in. Okay, so we have two loops here. And if you just want a shoelace kind of bow, you can tie this off right here with your, and I brought these Chanel stems. I normally would not use a shiny one, but I think it may show up a little better. If that's all you want is this kind of a bow, just tie off right here. If you're gonna put uh, this on a package and put a Christmas ball or a Christmas ornament, or if you're weaving it in greenery and you're gonna have pieces of greenery or berries here, this may be all the bow you need right there. Um, a chenille stem or a pipe cleaner, or whatever you want to call it, is just a lot easier than fighting the ribbon. You can tie it off with another piece of the ribbon, but if your ribbon is thick like this, you're going to have to fold it, and that's kind of a job, okay? So I would just use a chenille stem, which is a pipe cleaner, okay? So if you want to stop right there, just clip your end off. And you're done. If not, we have hits here we are, right? We're just gonna add up another loop. Make it about the same size as this loop. When you're looking at it, you want them to be about even, okay? So here we go. We have one, two on this side. And we have this guy down here and we're gonna twist again. And we're gonna add another one, so Okay, here's what we've got right here. We're gonna crunch down our ribbon. All right, we just crunched it up and we twisted it, okay? So down here we have one, two, three, four. When I make my middle loops, because these I use as my outside loops, okay? That's your outside loop right there. You're gonna wanna make this loop a little bit taller, all right? And then we're just gonna crush it in, twist. And here we have this. So we have one, two, three. No, 
I just pushed on the bed and moved the bed over a little bit. And we're going to put six, and he's a little bit longer, okay? So here you go. Okay, here's your bow from the back. Now, if you need it bigger, just keep adding loops. Do two smaller ones and a middle a little longer. Two smaller, your middle one a little longer. We made bows for cars the same thing. You just keep going and going and going and going. You can make a gigantic bow. You just keep following that. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. Same thing, seven, or down, it doesn't matter, eight, nine, 10, and then side to side, 11, 12. It's that easy, y'all, just that easy. And I wanna whack this guy off here. You can also roll your ends if you don't like um, trying to notch them, and it's kind of a pain, so I just whack that off. I'm gonna push my chenille stem through there, because that's where I'm holding it, right here, okay? Match up your ends, pull it tight, twist, okay? Here you have your bow. Easy, easy. I've seen people cut all kinds of loops and things. I don't understand all that. To me, it's harder. The more cuts you make, the greater risk you run of dropping one of your loops, and then that's just a pain. But here you go. You're done. You have a bow, looks like you got it at the florist. Well, because that's where it came from initially. Let's just, just be honest. You can roll these in, to just roll them up. This is a wired ribbon, so just roll this thing up a little bit. If you don't wanna worry about trying to cut it, tuck your little end in and just do a little roll. And then you're gonna put it, you know, probably and bend it up in your tree and just make it like a little a little end of a scroll or something okay you can knock them you can cut them at an angle just make sure you don't leave them all frayety looking now you have this long end you can stick it in a wreath you can have enough to go around a post on your staircase ironwork um, you can put it into your garland just poke it in twist it around it's not going anywhere mailbox i know people some people live out the country they put them under their mailboxes and things um it, that's it that's easy i mean and it's a it's floor bow. i mean it just is what it is and they're like i said there's no use in uh, it, making it harder than it is it's so so easy you can use big ribbon you can use little ribbon little ribbon works the same i intended to grab a piece of little ribbon and i forgot if you wanna add tails at this point, now we're all tied off, we can do anything with it, it's not it's not going anywhere. Get you some more tails going. Pinch it in the center. We're gonna twist it around. And there you go, you have more tails. Just cut it off again. You can put, if your tree is where you can see it from two sides, you can put two of these, one on the front and one on the back with your, you know, then let your long ribbons hang down and then tuck other ribbon in there. It's just, making a bow is that easy. So easy. So we will, let me cut this guy off here and we will go one more time. I just cut that one at an angle. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use that ribbon in the living room or not. Here we go. Okay. We'll try to maybe make it a little smaller for y'all. We'll make a small one if you have a small package. So here's a little ribbon. Our first loop, small loop, small loop. It's like just as long as my, as my finger is. So it's like a little, for a little package. Like a little bow tie kind of a thing, that size. Okay. So we've twisted and twisted. We've got two, a tail, one loop, two loop.
Okay, here we go. Here's our third loop. Twist. Fourth loop. Twist. Here's our fifth loop. Twist. Sixth loop. Twist. Cut your tail. Chanel stem. If you want to use these on a package, um, just tie your ribbon around your package and then come back and tie your, twist your little Chanel stem, pot cleanery thing around that. Cut these little edges off. tiny tiny little bow ready for a little package it's that easy it's one of those things um God, i've been doing it forever and like i said if you want to do if you're doing packages you can stick a little pine cone in here and a little berry or something if you want to really say you're going to a friend's house and you're taking a bottle of wine and you just don't want to you don't want to get a wine bag for whatever reason because it's just going to end up in the trash take your little ribbon your little hot glue gun Put a little pine cone and a little berry in there, a little Christmas ornament or two or three. Tie this around like this. Just wrap it around and then take an extra little piece of ribbon. And you can either glue it, cut it, and glue it with your hot glue gun, or you can just tie it to cover your Chanel stem if it bothers you. If not, just wrap this little guy around and wrap him back and twist him in the front with your pretty little bow on there. And, um, you know, because we, although we're trying not to travel a lot of places, there are people we see on the regular. Um, we did get to have Thanksgiving with my family. Not as many people as we normally do, but there is many of us who we see on a regular basis. We see all the time, every couple of days. So we did get to meet with a lot more people than some people did because we're just fortunate like that. We're, we see each other all the time. Uh, part of that's because the kids, the grandkids, my mama, and we're just, we live close and we're close. And so we can do that. And that's nice. So I appreciate that fact. So, but there are friends that I see that I would see a lot more than I'm seeing now, but you know, I might want to just, you could drop this off on their doorstep with a little card Beautiful bow on a bottle of wine with a little card, ring the doorbell, step back, and wave. And, you know, say, I love you, and I wish I was getting to share this with you. FaceTime me, Zoom call me, something. And, you know, you can still, we're going to have to get creative. That's just all there is to it. 2020 is the year of weirdness, and we're going to have to get creative, and we're going to have to work through it and figure out how we're going to, be together any way we can and visit with each other, check on each other. I don't know. This is just a weird year. There's just no other way to say it, but it's just a really weird year. So you could put this on a box of cupcakes from a bakery if you don't bake. Set it at somebody's house. A Tie it on the handle of some groceries if you know somebody that might need something or might something they like that maybe they can't get you know if they're not trapped you know if you don't if you're not getting out much as a little specialty store that you know they like something from pick them something up tie this on the handle leave it at the door with a little note that says i love you and i wish we were eating this together we're not but we will be soon the vaccines are coming and we're all going to get we've made it this long and we're going to make it a little longer. And I don't know anything else we can do right now, but just keep on keeping on with it. That's what we're going to have to do. 
I do want to uh, show, I'm gonna try to show like a pattern and some patterns a day. I'm hoping to get some of these done. These are the little blackbird stockings. Um, I think Shelly has some in her shop. Um, Shelly has some in her shop. Jerlyn, I think, has them. She's finished a quilt on Etsy. My local is um, the Stitch Niche in Arlington. Like I said, Shelly is uh, just stitching in Strongville, Ohio. She has had some in her shop, and I think they also have them. I know Jerilyn does because I saw them this week. I did some of these for the summer. If you want to go back, the tutorial, I think, shows them all for the stockings tutorial. I did them in just reds and blues for the summer for patriotic stockings. But the this one is, they're the Blackbird stockings. They come in a monthly series. This one is Merry December. And the one on the front says Merry Christmas. And then, you know, you just put the little year on there. The back one here has a reindeer and a Christmas tree. And this one has a house and some snow on it. I did mine on the 30 count with my sulky threads. And so I didn't have to double my thread up or anything. It was super easy. I was super pleased with them. Super fun. But I changed some of the other designs around like this one says bless the harvest let me try to get that to focus on there bless the harvest come on focus there we go kinda i'm gonna change it to say if i get it stitched bless us everyone on here this is a beautiful design this one you could easily adapt and do an all red if you did um, one of the variegated reds, the cherry cobbler, or, um, oh my gosh, the chili pepper, cherry cobbler, whichever kind of a red you prefer. Louisiana hot sauce, there are several that are really good red colors. A very good variegated red or green, that would be beautiful, or you could do red and green. That would be so great. This one is actually the April one. It says April showers is the name of it. But if you will look at that design right there, that is very, very similar to the piece on earth that um, I've got to get finished from Blackbird Design. It's a big piece. If you change the berries to red, it is so very similar to that design. It's beautiful. This one is Oh Sweet Pea. Right there. I think you could easily change that to more reds, a lighter red and a darker red, and just change it to the year in your initials. And you could use that design. There are, I have this whole little bag of them. Like I said, I did six or seven or eight maybe. Um, oh, and I forgot to put my phone on shut up, so I hope it don't start ringing. Lord have mercy. This design, this one is March of the Daffodils. I think I did this one with reds and blues. You could easily do it if reds and greens are all a variegated red or whatever your Christmas colors are. This one you could easily do. It's tulips. Let's try to see if it'll show up better over here. Maybe this one will show up better. Yeah. Where they're purple, you could do red tulips on there. Perfect. This guy here. You could do reds and the greens and that would be beautiful. This one is September. You could do an all red lattice or an all green lattice. That thing is gorgeous, a red, green, and white. That's beautiful. That one's in September. Um, October Harvest. This is the one I stitched, one of the ones I stitched in red and blue that I'm gonna try to get stitched in red and green for Christmas. Like I said, I love these. This, these patterns, these blackbird patterns for the stockings are just the cutest things. This one here is in yellows and greens. You could easily do reds and greens on that guy. That one is Glorious June. Uh, Patriotic July. I stitched that one, but you could change it to red and green very easily. Instead of just the blue, just do the green and you're done ski. That one is, golly, that one's so beautiful. That is so beautiful. That one's from Patriotic July. Uh, this one here, 
This is the uh, January, so it even has one for all things on. This one is red and green over here. I think this is the, this one is the birthday stocking one. But the old Lane Zion one in this red and green one would be perfect. This February has, oh, this is the one with the little alphabet. How cute is that little alphabet? So cute. So I think, y'all know I think Blackbird, Barb and Alma are just a genius. Anyway, but you can easily adapt these patterns. Like I said, they are available. They're not out of print. Um, they're not, I think they're, I don't know, $10, $15, the book, um, if I remember right. They are not, I mean, you're getting at least three patterns. You're getting three patterns in every one of those. So that is a really, really good price for what you're getting and the fact that you can keep using them and just by changing the colors all year long. I think that is crazy genius. So I guess that is the end of Vlogmas number one. Like I said, I toyed with the idea of doing it and I thought, you know what? We're all kind of lonely right now and let's just do this thing. So I'll jump on every day and do a little something uh, tomorrow I'll probably either do wreaths or maybe the mantle. I started on the mantle the other night and I needed it to kind of fluff out because it had been, you know, crammed up in the um, sack. So I'm letting it fluff out up there and I put my berries in. So it's nothing up there but the garlands and the berries. So I'll probably do one of those two things tomorrow. So until then, y'all have a great evening. Happy December 1st and happy first day of Vlogmas. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye, y'all.